In this video I'm just going to show you how you can add a photograph or logo to a video or presentation that you've already created. Here I have a video that's four minutes long. It's a business presentation. It's got photographs, it's got videos, it's got text, it's got collaging. So it's got the full range of stuff that you can do in Track XPC. And for this particular presentation I want to put a logo in the bottom right hand corner of the video. And I'm going to just show you how you can do that quickly and easily. First of all, I just click on my logo here. I find it in my media browser. And um, I'm happy with that. And I'll just drag and drop it into the mixing screen. So if I just grab the play bar, I can see that it's in there. And then I can just drag it along so that it'll run the length of the video. When I grab the play bar, I can see that when it comes to the next piece of video it's been overwritten that's because TrackX works in a priority system but I can get over this by clicking on a new feature which is the always on top button once I click on the always on top button the photograph will always play on top of anything else that's on the in the video so you can see now that the video the photograph the logo is staying on top of the video so I'm happy with that and now what I want to do is resize the logo and place it where I wanted to do where where I wanted to go. To do this, I just click on the segment properties button for that for the photograph, and up pops the segment properties window. And um, now what I want to do is resize the video and place it. So here I'm going to use the zoom bar, and uh, I can do other things like right click and select zoom in, zoom out. But I'll just use the zoom bar here for the moment. So I'm just going to resize it, and as you can see, as I resize it in the video output screen, I can see exactly where it's going to be, how it's being zoomed. And now I can just grab it and place it exactly where I want. So I just want it there in the little, in the right-hand corner of the video. Another nice new feature is that you can keep the segment window open and grab the play bar at the back, so you can go through the whole video. So I can see here that it's a little bit out, so I want to just move it over a little bit there and I'll continue grabbing the play bar for the mix. When I come to the text I see that it's a little bit too big and it's overriding the text here. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now I can continue on and I can just see how it looks in the whole video. And um, I'm pretty happy with that so I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to close down the segment properties window. And now to make sure that it snaps with everything and ends the same as the text here, I can just grab the channel and just move it up its location. So I've moved it into channel 2. And now I can just snap it there and you'll see a blue arrow appear saying it's snapped exactly to the top credit section there. So I'm happy that it all ends the same. As you can see, when the fade comes out, there's it's still there, so I want to fade it out as well. So I can just put a quick fade in there, and I can always right-click on and change the fade type, so I can do a smooth fade. And I want to do a fade at the beginning as well, so everything looks like it fades in together. So you can see there the, the logo is fading in, and now the logo is playing throughout the video. So that's just a quick way of being able to put a photograph or logo into a presentation, always keeping it on top of your mix and placed exactly where you want it to be. I hope this helps, and if you've got any more questions or would like to uh, make any suggestions in the forum, please do at trackax.com. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.